Hello, my name's Claire Greenhow. I'm a career development consultant for Anglia CV Solutions, otherwise known as the CV Writer. But I also write LinkedIn profiles as well. Um, so today I'm going to teach you where to put your contact details on your LinkedIn profile. Now, it may sound like a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised how many people don't actually put their full contact details on and don't optimize all the different places where um, you can insert your contact details. If you're actively looking for a job, then obviously you want to make sure that you're easily contactable, your details are very clear, easy to find. Um, you know, nobody really wants to spend five, 10 minutes trawling through a profile looking for contact details. If you're serious, put your details down. You know, if you don't want to give out your email address or mobile phone number, easy ways of doing that these days, you know, go to Google, Yahoo, anybody like that, Hotmail, set up a, a, a sorry, an email address purely for job hunting purposes. Um, you know, make it nice and easy, keep it all in one place and, you know, protect your uh, main email address from potential spam. Again, with uh, mobile phone numbers, you know, you can get SIM only, uh, packages very very cheaply now you can buy a sim card you know for next to nothing um, you know if you're going to be receiving calls only on it it's going to cost you nothing but the initial cost of the card which is what 10 pounds um, again you know it stops your normal number getting spammed and uh, if you're using that uh, at work and things um, you don't want to be get, taking calls and getting calls um, when you're at work. So if they go through to the other mobile number, then you have uh, a voicemail set up on there and you can return calls as and when during your breaks, etc. So that's just a couple of ideas. Again, there's VoIP phones. Don't know if you've heard of those. Well worth looking into, inexpensive. You can even download software onto your computer now and you can run a VoIP phone system through your computer where you can take phone calls in relation to uh, jobs and recruitment, et cetera, et cetera. So you haven't actually got to give out your much loved mobile number or email address these days. There are a few options. I mean, that's just a couple. There's probably loads more, but I haven't got time to go into them now. Okay, so back to where to put your contact details on your LinkedIn profile. Okay, most obvious one in the contact details section box. It's right at the bottom. You have to scroll all the way down there to find it and you'll be surprised how many people don't fill it in. So make sure yours is filled in. Put in your preferred contact method, whether that be by telephone or email or any other you know, media option. Put the details in there, You know, invite people to contact you and uh, that's that bit done, ticked off. Okay, now tagline. Have you changed your tagline? Is your tagline optimised? I bet it's not. Millions of people have got LinkedIn profiles and they don't make use of the tagline. The tagline should not just be your job title. You've got 120 characters to use. Make sure you use them. Okay, so use some keywords that people are going to search for you um, using. You know, if you're in a particular industry, make sure those keywords are in there. But also, you can make sure your contact details are there. Why put them there, you may ask? Well, because it's the first thing a recruiter or an employer, potential employer is going to see. So it's prudent to actually you know, include your details in there. So again, it takes a couple of minutes. There's a little pencil icon at the end of the uh, strip box. Click that, change the details, you know, make it sound really, really good. And that's you know, number two done. Okay, number three, where else can we put it? In your summary section. Okay, you may think this is a bit odd, but again, you know, your summary section isn't just for a professional profile. You know, you've got a good number of characters there to use. And I can't remember the number off the top of my head, but uh, you've got a good number of characters to use there. So don't just put your profile paragraph. You know, give people a little bit of a hook. Add a little note about, you know, your education and, you know, your key skills and also your contact details here. Um, doesn't take long to do, you know, spend a bit of time doing it. Your summary section, if it's set up correctly, should be at the head of your LinkedIn profile. So again, it's quick and easy to find and people can contact you without having to go through and, you know, rummage through your profile, etc. People are busy. They don't want to be doing that. And uh, the more you can help somebody out, the more, you know, the better your profile is going to be viewed, basically. Okay, um, there is another section, which is the contact section, which a lot of people miss out. This is right by your profile picture. If you go back down onto the right-hand corner of that box, 
there's a contact box. Now make sure you fill in your email address, your mobile number, your instant messenger, your Twitter, anything like that, fill it in. If you've got a blog post, a website, or a portfolio site, or anything else that could basically you know, boost your profile, add the details in there. Quick tip for you, if you are a business owner or you have a website, you know, displaying your creativity, your bits and pieces, your photography, you know, whatever, um, link that there. Drop down the box to other, you can then put in keywords. A new box appears and you can pop in a keyword. Now, this is another way of being found. The more keywords you can get on your profile, the better. The more you're going to show up in people's you know, advanced people search and um, you know, make sure you make use of all the different points and places on LinkedIn that can get you seen and get you noticed. Again, that's a little sneaky trick. Um, well worth doing if you've got a couple of minutes. Okay, so there's four places that you can update your contact details. It may seem like overkill, but if you're you know really serious about finding a job, you want people to be able to contact you and you know not skip past your profile because it's too much hassle for them. You know they like the look of you, but they can't actually get in contact with you. So you know there is instant messenger on on LinkedIn, but you know not everybody uses it. And let's face it, um, email and phone is so much easier. So make sure your details are on there. If you've got any questions or queries, um, anything you don't understand, do give us a you know give us a ring or email me on um, inquiries at angliacvsolutions.co.uk. I'm on Twitter. You'll find me at Pro CV Writer, and also I'm on Pinterest at Pro CV Writer, and on Facebook, which is under Anglia CV Solutions. So lots of options there to get in touch with us if you've got any questions, queries. If uh, there's anything you don't understand, then let us know. We'd be pleased to help. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.